What is going on, Geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of the Rusty Lake Hotel. In the first, we served Mr. Deer a Bloody Mary and then fed him to the other guests. I cannot wait to see what happens in episode two, where we will be meeting, I think Mr. Boar is my next choice. One thing I didn't do last time was take the key, the room one key, oh, and put it in this little thing. I should have done that, I think. Boom. All right, now we got to go see the chef to see what our recipe is for today. Fresh meat for tomorrow. Yeah, he'll have a recipe for us. And when, well, that's it. Okay, well, I guess it's up to me what kind of meat I put in the dude's pan. Or maybe Mr. Crow has my mission yet again. What do you, what's your deal, brother? Psst, have a look in my pocket. Where's your damn pocket? Carrot. I guess I'll... There! Rabbit stew. Okay, screw the boar. It's a rabbit. Rabbit stew with carrots and white beans. I guess I don't get to choose which room I saw when. We're, we're doing a recipe with carrots and white beans and, and rabbit. So we'll see if we can't find Mr. Rabbit's room. Head up in the elevator. The bellhop, Kitty, will guide us up. Oh, I didn't mean to look at you. You just make me uncomfortable. Yes, this is the room I was looking for. We shall enter the room of Mr. Rabbit. And we'll try our damnedest to solve this thing, okay? So we got A and a symbol, five and another symbol, and these kind of look like the symbols on the wallpaper, which is interesting. Same wallpaper as the last room, bottom drawer last time. Oh yes, and it's a knife. All right, cool. And a bedroom with a ace of clubs. Interesting. He's trying to go in as blind as possible. This appears to be some sort of cabinet, but... Window? Ah, a code here. Ooh, this is the... Oh, this is the room of magic. Okay, so... That's why it's all these cards. I get it. And check it out. Rusty Lake Theater presents Saturday, the 7th of August, The Amazing Mr. Rabbit Magic Show. Seats may be booked at the box office, and he has a stamp of his own, which we will then get a key for and unlock. What are you? Flick the switch. Oh, that's creepy. That's super creepy. Give me that ring. Okay, well, something I'm not doing right here. Stab the hand. Oh! It worked. Take back my knife? No, we now have a wedding ring. That is the weirdest. I warned you in episode one, this game is full of the macabre, the odd, the mysterious. There's a slight slit in his face. What is that thing on his forehead? I gotta put something in there, don't I? And it matches up to another symbol. There's another symbol there. And this thing is full of freaking symbols. So we get the eight. Oh, all, they all go here. I got it. They all go here. We got to match up the symbols to the cards. And we know that this symbol... Uh, is that symbol even here? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So is that the four of clubs? Is that where I got the four of clubs? Huh. Well... UTC is slightly confused, but the answers await. The Ace of Clubs. We might have to figure that out. There might be more to this. You can't leave until you've found some damn rabbit meat. Some... Ooh. This is exciting. Let's try the ring on here. No. Okay, so this is for the two. I get it. It's the two, and it's that symbol. And we get the two of hearts. So we're going to have to put the two of hearts... Um, what was the damn symbol? Uh, I think it was one of these. I think it was that one. Yeah, I believe so. God, this is gonna be tough on my brain. Maybe it was that one. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was that one. Okay, cool. So that's the two, obviously. Now what do we got here? Just four colors. That'll be the key to another puzzle. Purple, pink, or white, orange. And then here we have a little glass box that I can put a ring inside. And that is a weird triangle stone. And I get a key in exchange. Cool. Uh, the key must unlock one of these. All right, we need more keys. We need more keys and we need to unlock more things, I bet. Ah! The Five of Clubs, which came out of your ear. Watch closely. How about this? I think I got it. I think I got it. It's right here. Oh. Uh, what? What am I looking for? The little ball or the... Trial and error. The greatest technique of all time. Okay, so if it's the ball that we're trying to find and it's in the, under the middle... It's on the left. Clearly not. Thimble. So it goes ball, shell, thimble. Maybe I need to keep following it and keep getting it right. And a bug. It's getting faster. It's an eyeball now. Okay, right, that was how you did it. You had to keep going. You had to keep going. Strange things were appearing. And the eyeball must go somewhere. Take your top hat, won't I? Put your top hat on your head. Put this eyeball in your face. Let's pull something out of the hat. A bouquet of flowers. What was it? Pink, purple, white, orange. Purple, pink, white, orange. Purple, pink, white, orange. Purple, pink, white, orange. Done. Bravo. Oh! Hello, sir. I'm not exactly sure. Hello. Hello! Puzzle solved. Bravo by me. Get unlocked. What? Get unlocked. Okay, one more key. There must be one more puzzle. This one. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look. Sword. Is this symbol going to the left? Is this symbol going to the right? Left, right, left, right. So. Bing. Bink. 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 Huh. What the hell is this triangle stone for anyway? I'm confused. I can't look out the window. Oh, something creepy happened in the window there for a second. Hello! Get an eye put in your head. Get a triangle stone done to you. You creepy bunny. Ace of spades. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Okay, oh, ace equals uh, the the left to right uh, symmetrical one that I have yet to pick. And this one equals the one that looks a little bit like a flower, five. So five and ace, we've got figured out. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, here's the last puzzle. So that makes, uh, which one was which? I think the five looked like the flower. Did I do that backwards? Uh, yeah, the five looks like the flower. The ace looks like that symbol. Okay, cool. We know the two's right. We know the five's right. I think the four's right. So the owl's obviously the king. Right, the owl has the king's face. 
So which symbol is beside the owl's picture? Another looking flower. Interesting. One with that symbol. So that's not right. It's this one. There's the king. So now we're just down to the four and the eight. Triangle stone it? Nope. All right, there's a key awaiting me here. This is the last puzzle to figure out, and I might need a minute to figure it out. We'll see. This whole thing must be... Well, I thought I saw that move, and I thought maybe it meant I had the right card in the right position. Here's a doofus, just messing around forever with this. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that this key will unlock the final lock on this chest, which... I have no idea what the hell is going to be in here. Ah! It's Mr. Rabbit again. Okay, he's good. It's not a second Mr. Rabbit. He has just moved inside there. Triangle stone? Looks about perfect. Close the door. <gasps> Something's happened to his skull. All right. Put the eye in the skull, perhaps? Yup. Hello! What an illusion. This guy's a real master. <gasps> Blades. Bl oh, this is a sword. Put the man in the box sword trick. And we've seen the swords, and we've seen exactly how they work. Check this out. So, oh, whoa. Okay, I guess there's another illusion. This is the man in the sword box. So, top row from the left, fourth row from, sorry, top row right, fourth row left, fifth row right. Top row. Fourth row. Fifth row. Ah, and the illusion has worked brilliantly. Give me some rabbit meat and I'll make a delicious meal of it. So I need to find some white... Oh, I didn't find the white beans. Oh, well, that must have been the puzzle I didn't solve, but that's cool. Who needs to solve all the puzzles? Damn it, I didn't realize I was that close to the end. Okay. So? Mr. To oh, yes, one last guest. Dinner. Mr. Toad's still preparing it. Yes. Prepare away. Don't worry. I'll hook you up. I think we're only going to get two stars on this dinner, y'all. I think I might have messed up with the white beans. Are you sure you want to cook? Might as well do it. This episode's run long enough. Cook it up. I'll get two stars, but I'll have completed the main task. That's a little Hassan Pfeffer. The second dinner. A lovely week away. Carrots. Rabbit. Verdict, two stars, right? Give me the both stars. Give me two. Had I added a lovely garnish of white beans, it might have been a... That's not how you spell almost. That's not how you spell almost, but... Yeah, see? How can, how can you tell me I'm not perfect when you can't even spell almost? We'll consider this a perfect one. The night falls, the guests go to the rooms, guys, and tonight we'll be we will be tackling the third of the five rooms, re-entering the lobby. The one thing I didn't do at the end of episode one was grab the key for room four, head over here, and plug it in. Plug. How do you do it? Plug it in. There you go. Almost there. All right, so we have three more guests to go before we unlock this box and figure out what the hell's going on, but we will be doing that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'm Unite the Clans, and I will see you geeks in episode three of the Rusty Lake Hotel. Okay, unlocked. Oh, there's an old woman in... Old Mother Hubbard? Did she live in a cupboard or go to a cupboard? to get her poor dog a bone. What are you doing, Granny? Hello. These games are weird, I told ya. Gold to- Oh! Oh, there's a puzzle! 